good morning and welcome to the vlog. Um, today I finished college. Eee. Welcome to the vlog! I was gonna wait till tomorrow, but candles just make me so happy. So I grabbed this one from my room, from our Bath and Body Works haul. It's eucalyptus, which is one of my favorites, and then also snowfall, so it has some holiday scents in it. So we're gonna light that bad boy. This is my Layla. She's such a sweetie. She just got back from a long walk with mom and Megs. Hmm. And this is Megan. She's emotionally supporting me while I do my accounting problems by watching Criminal Minds with me. Lunch, 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 lunch. You're so cute. Like if you had to Lila. Hi. In the head with one of them. I'm experiencing that kind of slump that you tend to get with a night exam. I've been studying all day. I just ate. I'm going to drink some water because, you know, gotta keep the old noggin working and take a shower, hoping it'll kind of like reset me. Then I can do some last minute studying, crush the exam. I also did that bad thing where I went and checked all my grades right now and they're just all coming in and there's very much uncertainty and stress and I just need to get through the exam. So I'm gonna take a shower. Hopefully it'll reset me. I'll at least look nicer for my <laughs> photo that my mom inevitably will take of me when I finish the exam because I'll officially be done with school. Hopefully I'll feel a little bit more refreshed, ready to attack the exam. So I'm gonna put on my favorite sweatshirt. Not, I don't like this one, but I like a hoodie for the exam, so. We're clean, we're in fresh clothes, and we are ready to crush this test. So I'm going to... <laughs> I mean, I'm in a new sweatshirt and sweatpants, whatever. Um, but I'm gonna go over some last minute formulas and take the exam and I'll see you afterwards. The exam obviously is proctored and athletic code, or <laughs> athletic code, academic honor code would not allow me to videotape any part of it. So yeah. I won't risk that and I will see you after. Hi. I submitted my vinyl. I'm officially done with college. I'm done with school. <laughs> I don't think my microphone was turned the right way when I was upstairs and I said I was done with school, so done with school. Mom, what are you making for dinner? Oh, 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 I got you a surprise. Ooh, that's exciting. So my one request was a bottle to pop and mom doesn't disappoint. Although I do think that this was a gift was. to my mother that she's just now regifted to me. So it makes me feel real special. All right, I'm gonna take a photo of myself before I pop it. All right, I'm not gonna make the mistake this time and stop halfway. I can swear. The dog, the hard drive, the MacBook. This is in the way. Can you grab the dogger? All right, I have to turn you off so I can get the paper I'm towels. I'm blocking the top. All right. Stop chewing it. That's pretty yummy. So I thought that my parents' contribution to my education was my grad gift. However, my parents did get me something today to commemorate the fact that I'm done. So that's really exciting and let's open it. So it's from this 
store in downtown Naperville called Sarabu Creek. Spelt right. Y'all can ooh and ah. Ooh. Oh. Ah. Why is there an American flag? You're a political science major. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's kind of odd. <laughs> Oh, and it says 2020, that's super cute. Uh -huh. Even though, yeah, I don't really know if I'm class of 2020 or 2021, but I did grad, I will be graduating, I guess, in 2020. You graduated in 2020, that's what I thought. Even though I actually will graduate in 2021. <laughs> the whole thing's kind of confusing, but we you know what? Maybe we should have put 2021 on the other corner. <laughs> <laughs> next to it. That's cute, I like it. So like um, you are balanced on Layla's crate, so we're gonna see how that works for the angle and everything. Um, obviously you can see my super messy bookshelf, but I got my FabFitFun box a few days ago and I figured I would give you a haul of what's in the winter FabFitFun box. I really like it, especially in the winter because I can split this up anything that I don't like and use it as gifts or anything that I'm, I don't need or won't use. And so that's awesome. You can get a ton of gifts out of it as well as it's just a great way to like try new things you wouldn't try for yourself. And it was an impulse purchase at some point last year around this time. And here we are. Layla is not happy that I'm opening a package right now, but you know, Layla. Um, so I love that they're switching to recyclable packing, which is great. We got a kind granola bar. Kind of odd, but cool. Ooh, I am not a tea tree person, but this is a pore purifying cleanser, which is kind of cool. I would find this so much cooler if it wasn't, I don't know if I can get this to focus, if it wasn't tea tree, um, because I don't like tea tree. It says apply on damp skin, form a rich lather, rinse well with warm water, avoid eyes, use AM and PM, pore purifying cleanser. Hmm. With salicylic acid, tea tree oil, and white willow bark. So I'm gonna have to open that and see if it smells a lot like tea tree because I'm not a tea tree fan, but I'm sure my mom or my sister might enjoy this one. Oh, so this guy is a Vera Bradley makeup case. That's dope. Okay, so it has two nice pockets, like a big envelope pocket in here that also has like a full bottom. Do you see that? And then it opens up to two mesh pockets and it's this beautiful like pink velvety so that'll be a cool gift i think for me um i don't know if i mentioned this in another video but i have this really nice makeup organizer from um shea mitchell's company and i really enjoy that but this is absolutely beautiful and really nice quality next up we have a flight mode skincare and this is a high altitude hydration mask oh and it's not like a wash off one it has aloe vera cucumber extract Wildberry Harvest and high Hyaluronic Acid, which sounds amazing. I wish I was actually traveling because that would be dope, but you know, I'm sure we can get moisture anyhow, but super, super cute. Um, and then they sent a daily facial dry brush for radiant looking skin. I always love when they send tools because I'm not great at buying tools, but I feel like um, tools can make a huge difference. This is a daily facial dry brush. Shower the world with love. So I will definitely be giving that one a try probably sometime soon. This is a little like red crocodile credit card holder. Um, and again, I'm not a huge wallet person, but this would make such a cute gift, especially if you're like giving a gift card. So I love that. Okay, so these are vitalizing eye gels, and so you put them underneath your eyes. They're four individually wrapped masks. Oh, so they must go all the way around. I love anything eye. I love anything eye related, especially hydrating and depuffing. So if you saw my Sephora haul in the last vlog, you know that this is definitely a product that I will be using and will definitely need. This is an anti-wrinkle complete eye renewal balm. I definitely could use that. I love that. Smooth skin, reduce puffiness, and dry circles. So that looks super legit. Super excited to try that one out. We can always preemptively get rid of some wrinkles. And then this is, oh, a liquid eyeliner. I don't really wear eyeliner because I'm kind of intimidated by it, but I should. 
um, and I just threw out a bunch of makeup because I hadn't bought liquid eyeliner in forever so I had to throw it out so it'd be nice to have a sample to try that one out um, so I believe that is all yep that is all from our fab fit fun haul I have some other things coming in but I'm not sure like what's secret Santa and what's other stuff so <laughs> I kind of got to wait for that to occur. I'm working on a part of my Secret Santa gift for my second Secret Santa I'm into. Um, <laughs> super overwhelming, but I'm really excited about it because everything's virtual, so it's nice to be involved in some things that are holiday spirit related. So I'm going to finish up what I was working on and watch some YouTube and then probably go to bed, which is kind of exciting that I don't have work and I can just, you know, get after it and do whatever I want to do, all the things that I've been putting off to do school. So I'm gonna clean up this garbage then. And also I know I'm gonna do that annoying thing where I talk about Secret Santa for like the rest of the week um, until the little, um, like our party unveiling happens and the person I have opens her gift. I don't think she watches my videos. I just don't think she's a YouTube person. Just to be safe, I want to make sure I protect the, su the surprise. But as I go along, I'm going to be taking clips and collecting them so that when I do have that little Secret Santa segment, um, I can show you everything that happened and how I made it. And so I'll talk about it a little bit more in that video so that I protect the surprise, but I also let you guys in on it. I'm going to get back to that and watch some YouTube. I think I am going to end this vlog here. I'm crashing super hard. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you enjoyed doing my last day of college classes with me. Future Sarah, if you're watching this, I hope that you are happy and successful in whatever you're doing and that you are continuing to chase your dreams and become more of the you that you want to be. I know that's super sappy, but I know I'm going to look back on this video um, in the future and be super nostalgic, so it'll be cute to leave myself a little message. It was super weird, kind of anticlimactic. I've been dreaming for a really long time to go to the University of Michigan and then when I was there um, there were definitely some difficult times and it was really like this huge goal like we're grad you know graduating and and getting good grades and obviously when you're in it you know you're really focused on that end game and it's very very strange that it's now here and that I did it from this room and that I experienced it with my family and not you know with my college community so it's very very strange I'm feeling a little bit weird I don't really know what to do with this information um, but yeah I'm done with classes for my undergraduate degree so that's odd but thanks for joining me and if you liked this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're new it really does mean the world to me leave a comment down below if there's anything you would like to see me do with the rest of vlogmas but I have lots of cool ideas for you and yeah I'm super excited ah! all right good night